Hey guys, I'm Mackenzie, and this is part two of my Wonder Woman 1984 cosplay series. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how I made the boots, leg armor, undersuit, and bracers. Oops, bracers are going to be in their own video with how I made the tiara also because there was just too much going on for this one. For her golden armor outfit, I have a separate video already out for this so I'll link that somewhere up here and in the comments below so you guys can um, take a look at that if you're interested. The base fabric I used for the undersuit was a golden metallic spandex that I got from Joanne Fabrics. The pattern I used for the undersuit was just a basic cat suit pattern with a little mock neck um, that I found on Etsy from a seller called Alice in Cosplay Land. Since this fabric was almost the exact color of the fabric I'd be using for the armor, I decided that I was going to have to go ahead and dye it a little bit darker to add some contrast. Before dyeing the fabric, I heated a pot of boiling water and added a little bit of detergent to it because I read somewhere that that helps take the dye. Because this fabric was a polyester spandex blend, I had to use Rit Dye More Synthetic. It shows the color chocolate brown and only poured in about half of the bottle. I thoroughly mixed in the dye and then once I added the fabric, I stirred continuously to ensure an even color. Since I didn't want to darken the fabric too much, I only left it in for about five to seven minutes. After I sewed the suit together off camera, I had to figure out how to add these little golden details to the legs and arms of the suit. To get the exact shape for each pattern down, I designed my own custom pattern on my iPad. After playing with the pattern sizing quite a bit, I used my Cricut to cut the patterns out of heat transfer vinyl. These patterns are available for digital download on my Etsy shop linked below. After removing the excess vinyl, I followed the instructions and applied my pattern to both the legs and arms of my catsuit. Originally, I hadn't planned to use the same method for the sleeves. I used the same fabric for my armor and made an entirely different set of sleeves that really didn't work. So I made the sleeve. But I think I should have done the pants method because it's equally as shiny and it's easy to bend. And this one I bend it. Oh, that looks bad. Although making new sleeves was a big hassle, they looked so much better afterwards and I was super excited when the suit was done. I used the same fabric for the leg armor that I did for the body armor. This fabric was just a synthetic vinyl with a gold mirror finish. Instead of making my own leg armor pattern, I just found one on Etsy to use instead.
Before attaching the leg armor pieces, I pinned each piece down while I was already wearing the suit. Here you can see I already have one side sewn on while I'm pinning the other so I can use the finished side for placement reference. Before sewing on any of the leg pieces, I had to undo the inseam on each side of the pants. Next, I somewhat carefully sewed the leg armor pieces into place, turned the suit inside out, and then sewed the legs closed again. For the shoes, I used these Funtasma Gold like mini go-go booties as a base and undid the back to make them a little bit shorter. The leg armor pattern I used also came with a couple pieces to put on boots, so I just cut those out and then glued them on with either super glue or E600 industrial strength glue depending on the spot and how tough it was to stick down. And the last touch for the shoes is actually off camera. Um, I just cut a piece of this same metallic vinyl fabric and glued it around the edge of the boot by the heel to make it look like a wedge. So that was a very simplified and sped up version of the last six months of my life. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Um, Otherwise, thanks so much for watching my video and I hope you guys come back for more cosplay content.